show. Time for these two men. Heinle of Estonia and Shaw of the United States to fight it out for the next spot in the final in this notorious event, the Stone Off. Well, this is very simple. The two men face off over a series of stones starting at 310 pounds and they get heavier and heavier. The man in third lifts it first and the man in second must put it back again. Lift. They have 20 seconds in which to do it. And we join the action on stone four and nearly 400 pounds. Well, Brian Shaw, the last time he was in a stone off Lift. against Bobby Thompson, he put the stone over, the first one over, and Thompson couldn't even put it back. He is a, a fearsome man to go against. Not that I'm saying Thompson quaked in his boots, Lift. but uh, he has a tough task here. Round O'Heinler onto the fifth. 395 pounds. It is so interesting that one of the most experienced strongmen in the sport Lift. is so inexperienced when it comes to the stone off. Yes, indeed, yeah. That's a good way of putting it. He's always been qualifying in first, that's why. But of course, back in the day, let's not forget, he was considered Lift. by many to be the king of the stones. Something that we'll be playing on Heinle's mind as we move on to the final stone, which <laughs> was a bit of a push there. Yes, he did. That's uh, getting close to infringing on the rules there from Heinler. And actually, it won't affect Lift. the time that Brian Shaw has. You can see Magnus Fair Magnusson, rightly so, allowed him to roll it back to the spot and then lift it with 20 seconds from there. So it could have just backfired a little bit on Heinler. Lift. Well, this stone will continue to be passed from man to man until one man can do no more. My guess is Heinler's trying to buy himself a little bit of time with that push, actually. He definitely looks uh, the more fatigued of Lift. the two. But it indeed is getting him a few extra seconds. Now then, Big Shaw. Any problems? Oh, by six inches, it went over the bar. That must be very demoralizing Lift. for Heinler. They're both men consciously relying on that tacky on their Hands and arms, that pine resin. Yeah, that doesn't mix well with sweat either, and there's uh, some lashings of it being hit with on the stone as well. These guys are uh, quite uh, rightly perspiring heavily in this uh, hot afternoon. And this is rep number six on the final stone. Well, Heinler, exhausted. Lift. Now having to pass this back for the fourth time. Yes, his fourth individual lift, and he's the man in third coming into this. Shaw in second, that's his disadvantage. It'll always be one extra for him to get it over. Lift. Well, Shaw, not so quick this time. How's the strength in the midsection? Oh, very good. No problem. Six foot eight sure helps as well, but Lift. he's a supercharged six eight. Remember, 20 seconds is the time limit for each lift, each individual lift. And he managed his time well there, I thought Heinle took his time, made sure he nailed it. OK, 20 seconds begins again. How much longer can this possibly go on? <laughs> oh, Heinle... Perhaps appreciative of the slight break that roll gives him. Lift. Here comes rep number nine. Goodness me! What a return from the Estonian. His legs are wobbling, though. Lift. It uh, feels a bit like a boxer on his last legs there for Heinle. I'm not sure he'll have another one in him. Big Shaw still looks solid. Oh. Up and over. Answer that, he says to Heinler. Let's... Does he have it in him? Well, the clock is ticking away. If he makes a slip here, he's going to be in big trouble. He's got to nail this. Yeah. Getting a better grip. He can still do it, though. No. Oh. Goodness me, what a battle between Heinler and Shaw. 
Shaw really having a fight. I think a lot harder than he thought he would have to. Giving up quite a few inches there, Heinle. But he certainly has a huge heart, and Shaw recognizing that there. In many ways, it's uh, an applause for the defeated man as well, but USA's Brian Shaw is in the final again for the 15th time and last time, Danny. Well, there's his little boy. Must be so proud of his massive father. <laughs> so big, in fact, he didn't see his little boy. <laughs> That's a great result for Brian Shaw. Shaw just looked unstoppable there, didn't he? Certainly did. One more time and one more final. He's with James and Eddie now. Brian, how are you feeling right now? Yeah, I feel good. I uh, wasn't expecting to be in the stone off, but... You know what, I could lift that thing all day if I had to. I, well, there's no way I was gonna stop, so it was just, it, it, it's glad, I'm glad to be through 15 straight finals. What can I say, man? I don't know if anybody's ever gonna touch that, but uh, I'm proud, I'm happy. There is a mission that I came here on, and now we've conquered the first part, and uh, I'm gonna go refuel. That was just a warm up, I guess, for a final, get some blood moving, you know, so I'll be ready to go. I'm in a great spot mentally, and I came here to get a job done, and uh, that's what I, I plan to do. Brian Shaw, everybody. That's it for Brian Shaw. Well, let's take a look at the final group standings. The rookie from South Africa, Jaco Schoonwinkel, takes the group. The four-time champ, Brian Shaw, is in second, also earning his spot into the final. And the other American, Ferris, takes fifth. With eight athletes already on their way to the final, the stage is nearly set. Next time on the SPD World's Strongest Man, six more athletes begin their campaign to glory when Group 5 begins their march to victory and into the final. For James Richardson, Eddie Hall and Colin Bryce, I'm Danny Wallace. In association with 45 Live, this has been a presentation of CBS Sports Network, the 24-hour home of CBS Sports.